Welcome back to Nine on Your Side. A Walnut Hills landmark is poised to reopen after years of just sitting vacant. And our series, Move Up Cincinnati, is tracking growth and development issues and successes around the tri-state. So maybe you've driven by the Paramount building. It's a pretty interesting one, and the plans for it could have a lasting impact on that neighborhood. Nine on Your Side's Lucy May explains the type of business owners that leaders are trying to recruit. It's hard to miss the towering Art Deco building at the corner of Gilbert Avenue and East McMillan Street, and all the work happening to bring the structure back to life. This is the Paramount building, and it is being redeveloped into residential units on the upper floor, rental apartments, and the lower floors will be commercial space. The apartments are scheduled to be ready in March. Esoteric Brewing, the city's first minority-owned craft brewery, plans to open in October, and a bank and restaurant are planned for the ground floor, too. Denise Hammett says the project is one of many ways the Walnut Hills Redevelopment Foundation is working to strengthen the community. What's not happening in Walnut Hills is the question, and in all of these areas, it's, it's, it's exciting. Um, they have demonstrated that you can really turn a business district around, um, but it's also while serving the community and um, while specifically um, recruiting minority-owned businesses. A House is one of several new leaders at Community Development Corporations in Cincinnati. Hammett says she expects those new leaders to use their own skills to build upon the successes of their predecessors. They're also bringing fresh ideas and they're bringing fresh connections. Four months into the job, A House says she is all about continuing the work that started before she got there and delivering what the community wants. We're seeing a lot of investment in the neighborhood and that's good, but we want to make sure that people that have been here long term can stay that it stays a diverse neighborhood um, across all areas, um, racially, ethnically, income level, that we're welcoming and we have a place for everyone. Lucy May, nine on your side.